Hi, welcome to Saturday night. Saturday night is for me having some fun and taking a break from Arch Linux and we're going to install Ubuntu, the newest one, and see if all the Saturday icons are okay and the surfing icons are fine. In the meantime, I am of course always testing, like always. So this is Arch Linux 6.6.1 and look at this, I have a different kernel. It boots, all is fine, but in the D message, a nice little uh, application of a command that you should know, there are several things that are not up to specs that I don't have issues with uh, when, uh, with the newer kernel. So this is the Linux LTS kernel that I've installed. And it gives us a little bit of issues in the D message there, but it's, it's working fine. The thing is, um, I followed a tutorial how to install uh, VirtualBox, so it, this is my choice to work now with LTS, Linux LTS, so sudo pacman minus s Linux LTS, and then install this, reboot it, and now I'm working on an LTS. That's our little intro just on the site. Now it's time to have some fun, so 18.04, you go to download, Ubuntu desktop, and you download here. And then you say, don't want to spend any money, take me to the download and everything downloads. But I saved myself some time, cancel. And I have it already downloaded. So Super F7, if you have VirtualBox installed, and then we're gonna set everything up. I'm gonna say, we're gonna get Ubuntu in. 64 bits, that's right. Always give 50-50, that's my rule, um, but it can be less. It's anything you want. This one I'm gonna give 30 GB exactly. Create, go into settings, go into system processor, say I want to have, come on, 50-50 here and 50-50 here. Might use this as well, but that's okay. Those are the details I will work with, but um, uh, what was I thinking? Well, when, I, when you start now, the thing is still empty. So often I just say, before I start everything, I also go in here, choose disk image, and then say it downloads like so, like so. That's it. Let's double click here so it's bigger. You want, we, we read the message up here and then we click on it so we don't see it anymore. Then we press maybe Control F and say, okay, don't show it anymore. Switch, don't show it anymore. And we are putting an Ubuntu. Long time no see. So let's try, not try, install Ubuntu. In English is okay, but not my keyboard, my dear friend. Belgian is better. Continue. I'm curious to see if install right I'm curious to see what does it do here let's let's lay, look later at the G part at what it does I wanted to say I'm cur curious if he still thinks I'm speaking German because that has been the fact all my life and there is about hundred thousand people speaking German in 12 13 million so it's a rare concept that uh, he thinks that all people in Belgium speak German. And we're off to install everything. It might be best maybe to pause the video here, but maybe we should read something more. Fast and full new features, cool things. Click. Okay. We have the Snap Store and the Ubuntu Software Archive. You can find and install new apps with ease. This is true if they work. And these snap things. And then the next one, Rhythm Music Player is the one they support. There are so many music players out there and so many editing things and for photo there is lots of choices. Lots of browsers as well. Vivelle is not in here. Uh, Google Chrome. Yep. LibreOffice still the regular one, but there is WPS, there is OpenOffice, there are so many things. Customization stuff. Ask Ubuntu, I must say their form is great. 
to all Arco Linux people, I tell you, I have been helped in Arch reading Ubuntu form answers. Think out of the box, guys. Linux is Linux. Things that help people on Ubuntu, if you, well, translate it more or less to an Arch environment, it will help you. It's just a matter of thinking of, um, yeah, stepping out of your, your comfort zone, maybe out your thinking out of the box and then you say, oh, I might do this or I might do that. And then it's your help. So we're at the end. I'm going to pause the video here. About 20 seconds later, everything was installed. So that's fairly quickly. Please remove the medium, then reboot. Let's see what happens if I don't do that. Probably should do that. So we're on VirtualBox, Control F. Stop the machine, power off. Get rid of the line, it is already gone. Then restart, Control F. It's by the way, the right Control F, the right side of your keyboard. And let's enjoy Ubuntu. 18.04 okay application menu mm -hmm. Tuesday close button system menu nice right okay next why not oh my god no not gonna do that next No, that's okay for me for now. You can use software. Oh, they have Discord and all that. Oh, nice. So we have the two in Article Linux, a nice choice. What else do they say? Slack is also a nice one. I've used it for some months, teaching my students about Slack. Call board, I've taught them that too, this as well. But there are things I should learn. There are things I should know. So test out, great. Only office, hmm, nice. And that's it, okay, done. You're ready to go. So, um, what I want to test, of course, it's one of the reasons I always install other systems, is to learn, obviously, learning is fun, but are the SABI icons from SourceForge actually Wording here. Do I need to make anything to fix them? Whoa, what's this number? I am a bit surprised at the number. That seems to be not correct. So that's downloading. Is it? Don't we have a download button sign here? Is it still working? There is still a handshake going on. He's giving handshakes to everybody here. Unibet.com. That's all this stuff here. Transferring data. So let's go to the download, see what's happening. Still don't like the icons for the folders. <laughs> Save. Okay, go. Ah, download it. That's fast. So right mouse click extract here. The Savvy icons are here. Control A, Control C. Go to your home directory and then let's see how do we go from here? Preferences maybe. I know it's Control H, but just see if people are helped by any way to know that it's Control H. Properties. That's too bad. Don't you see Control H? Sure. Here, show hidden files. Here it is. So we need to go into a dot com dot icon. So it's not created. So we created ourselves. Dot themes is also something you can create yourself. Dot fonts as well. There you go. We have the Sardi icons. Now, can I activate them? Do I have a tool? We go to, 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 to here. Show applications. Let's take a look at everything that's in here. 
This Romina I should check out. Do we have Ubuntu Tweak at all? There is a Tweak tool. I guess not. How about preferences or something? Well, preferences, settings is also good. Can we set icons without installing anything? Dot size. Okay. Keyboard shortcut cuts are oh my the keyboard shortcuts are always hidden away. I find it terrible to find it. I would never have looked in devices um, for the keyboard shortcut, but well now that I know I know where it is, but I lost valuable time in the past. Anyway, control T is working. Pseudo root. Okay. That's nice for them to help me. Um, so, sudo apt. Uh, whoa, has been a long time. <laughs> is, is install still needed? I don't know. So probably. Uh, so Ubuntu tweak. Oops, a lot of Ubuntu's. Ubuntu desktop. Whoa, we should take a look at them all. Ubuntu snappy is there. Okay, no time. So, sudo apt install Ubuntu tour. Tweak. Damn, it's not called that anymore. Let's pause the video and look it up. Okay, if when I went to, to Ubuntu software, this is the thing here. And I just typed in tweak and see what I got. Enter. So we have this GNOME tweaks, that's the one I need. There are other tweaks things we should investigate, if we could investigate. So this is the one we extra need extra to set our icons. I find it always strange that you need an extra package to set your icons and themes and all that. But hey, it's like it is. So we have here themes. Uh, we could install the arc theme, see if that's possible. We don't have snow icons. But we do have the Sardi Mono icons, for instance. So everything is now Mono. And we have this uh, background that we can change. Too bad we don't see what we'll get before, but it's okay. And lock screen is okay. Desktops, do you want icons? Um, I actually do want icons in the sense that right mouse click does something when I set this to off then you can't make any folders anymore on it. So if you do want to work on a desktop, you definitely need to leave this one up so we can make your folders and all that. Extensions, fonts, keyboard, power, startup, top bar, battery percentage if you have a laptop, clock, okay, and seconds, right, why not? Week number, oh, oh week number. Oh yeah, how about my language? Am I in German or... Let's see... Samstag! <laughs> We're still in German! After all these years, okay, whatever. So Windows workspaces, all right. Um, themes and icons, let's first check the icons. So I open any um, in distribution, I open them and I see if there are um, problems like this one this is a problem but 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 there are always problems and we can solve problems I don't think they have um, an application like that in their software library and it's called hard code there we go ah, we get a lot of things but not what I want it's a hard code fixer it's an application to run and we need to go to the internet to get it. So 
I want my art code fixer from Fogelon, I think it is. And there it is. Fixes hard coded things. Now let's do the git way. So we get this and then we go to our folder. We have a nice documents here. Folder is empty, new folder, hard code, whatever, right? Well, actually, we don't need to make a folder, we just say open in terminal. I don't have kit, I suppose. No. So, sudo at install kit first. That's done. And then we git clone. Control Shift V and off we go. So we have now a folder with coming from the net and all you need to do is run this one. It says on the net what you need to do. It says to us run it as sudo, sudo and then fix. Uh, the script requires curl, Control C, sudo apt install curl. There you go. Are you happy now? Run. <gasps> I could have gone to the other location. But here you see it's already, it's, it has fixed only two elements. So that's a pity. So that means I have work to do. User, share, icons, enter. That, oh yeah, sure. My mistake, um, not that one but applications and in here we always see what applications are not following the color so this one is not following the color but that's no problem because he's not in here it's not in here anywhere you see so that's not an issue as such uh, i am surprised that it's not colored anyway but um, what else is a problem so these are all the circular elements Some of these, the guys are, are normal. I mean, they never get an uh, icon because nobody of the software engineers suspected that they that any of the developers would make an icon for it. So they do not have the sentence in their icon is. So tweaks is a problem, which we can easily fix if we have sublime text, for instance. Uh, otherwise, we have to do it in the other way. Can't open as root standard here. So what I'm going to do, if you want to fix this, let's see why it's not OK. Um, easiest way would be probably to change directory to user, share, applications. Let's go in there. So with one S, LS. So these, the things you see on the right are the same thing down to the left. And I want to have, what was it again? This one, the tweaks. And the tweaks one, properties, GNOME tweaks. So probably with a G. G, 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 tweaks, 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 tweaks. No, there you go already. We have to figure out the name again. Could be Orc, Gnome Tweak. These guys are, are tough break, all these Orc name things, Gnome things. They never get a icon in here, um, a nice icon. But they do show, show up as they should. Pausing the video and looking for the name. I was so tired of looking all, all over it. I said here, LS and grab me Tweak. So now I know what the name is, Orc Gnome Tweaks, that's the name, and it uh, must be in here somewhere, Orc Gnome Tweaks. Here it is. So I was looking for that name. Can we pseudo nano please this thing? Orc Gnome Tweaks. Normally I would install Sublime Text and then do my editing, and at the end we can say save as root. 
And here it says I can work GNOME tweaks. Now, so I need to make an, a link to a file in my study icons, so I need to update them. But I can show you what I will do to update that. Uh, sorry, icons, icons. We are in Sardi Mono, but since things inherit from each other, no, I should make it here as well. So let's put it in scalable and then apps and then look for tweak. So there are already names like this one. This is created, but they, the guys from, I don't know, Ubuntu, GNOME, they renamed GNOME probably, they renamed it. And that's what they tend to do month after month. I and we, all the icon developers need to change their names because they do. So GNOME tweak tool with dashes, remember? Okay, let's go back. So I'm gonna say, make me a link to um, GNOME tweak. It does exist, so you can use the tab. And it's now called org gnome tweaks. So when making a link, you first say where does it need to go to, and then you make the actual symbolic link. So org gnome tweaks dos dots svg. So org did I yeah okay gnome tweak tool svg and then org gnome tweaks. What, 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 what? Oh yeah, it's okay, org.gnome.tweaks, SVG. And if we enter this, we have this, uh, a new, we have a new um, symbolic link somewhere in our system. We can close this terminal and we can have a look. Where is our, oh, we went all the way back. Let's see if we can find it. And here, voila. So this one should change and he does not yet change. So let's see if we change the tweaks. So if we tweak tool again, if we change our theme and then back. So I must have made a mistake. But that looks nice. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Sardi Mono Scalable Apps, the link to GNOME Tweak Tool, SVG, or GNOME Tweaks, SVG. All right, now no. the uh, user share application slash org noom tweet desktops. So the icon is org.gnome.tweaks org.gnome.tweaks with an S, console X. And what did I do? org.gnome.tweaks.svg. I'm bringing gnome tweak to SVG. Okay. So another check we can do is go to the icons we created. Uh, we need to go to home, icons, Sarti, oh, Eric. Oh, Eric, oh, Eric. Delete icon team cache, Eric. Has been a while since I've been working on it. Cache file successfully created. Where is this tweak thing? There it is. So the icon is now in order and all we had to do was delete a tweak, um, a cache. So this, this cache thing is what any of the distros work on. 
uh, to get their icons faster but if it's still there it gets the older version so I had to delete this thing and create a new icon theme cache Saturday night you know so um, let's have a look that's one is fixed so I know what to do or gnome and this one and this one needs to be fixed as well would be not surprised if it's the same thing they all have these orc things and that we have to make the symbolic links fine how about surfing icons so three things to do let's test the surfing icons git is now installed so we go to download git clone control shift v done okay control a control c go put it put it in your dot icons control v you can get rid of what you don't need like the dot git is not necessary or the broken links checker which is interesting if you're gonna make icons but um github and, and icons yeah then it's okay you can take a look at the scripts but we don't need it so delete it hey that rhymes tweaks Sorry, mono. Surf and arc. How about that? This is the look of surf and arc. The three weeks. Yeah, I definitely need to make an icon for three elements. They will never change ever if icon designers do not switch to the new naming that uh, Ubuntu has created. Then. We could as well do the following. Not gonna be a very long tutorial, but hey, it's my Saturday night, right? So we have the GitHub of Eric Dubois, and there is this one. That's me. And we have repositories in here Ubuntu. And we have 7004, 1610, 1710. So we definitely need an 18 so this is the last one I think 1710 correct 1804 sounds correct to me so this is the lot the last version I've created to have a super Ubuntu and what I do is well we have put it in documents and open in terminal I git clone this thing as well. Ctrl Shift V. Oh, that's Ubuntu Mate. Delete. Wrong. Just a simple Ubuntu. Where is that guy? This one. Ultimate Ubuntu 17.10. Okay. Again. Git clone scripts. A script is nothing more. And copy paste what you type in a terminal and say run it again so all the work I've put into these things can work for you as well the thing is I'm gonna make a new github for you I'm gonna pause well I don't need to pause yet so I'm gonna show you how to add extensions oh get a little add-ons see more add-ons password manager last pass Add to Firefox. Oh God, this is taking forever. That's ah, I was just going to say this is not normal. So we get this this element here, and I'm gonna log in. This time I need to pause. I don't know what's going on because when I click here and I start typing, and then, and then we click then on the second thing, it closes up. So. Uh, I'm stuck here with Mozilla Firefox that will not do its thing as you see so um, need to look for an alternative do we have a other browser actually so we have Firefox as a standard just one browser and it doesn't work so fine 
and let's install sudo apt install chromium uh huh it's not available what is available browsers Okay. Ah, there it is. Why is it called something else then? Chromium browser it's called here. Hmm. Okay, learn something new. So launch. I said launch. Please launch. Okay, you heard me. Let's try again, more tools, extensions, browser, last pass, add to Chrome, add extension, and sign in, click here, click here, click here, click here. Okay, that stays open, putting it in. Okay, I logged in already. Um, so last pass is working, kicking in. I logged in into my GitHub account. Then I want to have uh, a GitHub for the next time when I next time I install Ubuntu, then I can reuse it like I'm reusing it now. So this is how I write everything, this thing. So I say make a new GitHub, console V. This time it's called 1804, Ultimate Ubuntu 1804. I will copy paste the description later. And then you say create repository. So this will be my new repository. I can copy paste it here. And then we get rid of that. I am going to go to documents, right mouse click, open in terminal, git clone, control shift V, there you go. So this is my newest. What's this? There is a dash in front of it. Oh my God, really? That's super ugly. Yeah, it's dash in front. Settings, kill the dash, rename. Come back, see that's okay. Get it again. Uh, so this one needs to go. And git clone, control shift V that's correct okay that's fine now I'm gonna copy paste everything from here till here I'm so well wait a moment I don't want to git folder so control H never need to git folder git folder is for specific for that kind of project but all the rest I want control C and control V it's all in here and now I have to run a simple script that says set up the git. So first check where you are, cd in the ultimate Ubuntu 18.04. So I'm actually in this directory, ls. And then you see the setup. Setting it up, I say please set it up. It's set up now and I'm pushing everything to the net right now. First commit. Then it wants to give you my password, so let me pause again. And then we're gonna post it to the net. Everything has been written. And this is how easy it is to set up a GitHub. It's not that difficult. If somebody shows you and tells you, there is a tutorial, by the way, on ericdubois.be and articolinuxd.com, I think. Yeah. So, now you have your own version, you can copy paste mine, put it on your own GitHub and then you have all these scripts available. What am I going to do now? I'm going to see if these scripts also work on 18.04 because I don't know. So I'm going to, I need to run these guys. So right mouse click, open in terminal, move that one here. Can't we make this a little bit more beautiful? Colors, transparency. Yeah, thanks. 
super super great that I did this I like that show scroll bar ever never and then this one no where is the bar on the top I don't want the bar on the top okay I guess here it is close get out get in much nicer maybe the font a little bit bigger a little bit small to show you guys font 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 text then text 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 custom font a little bit bigger already i normally take 14 or something yeah that's good so ls we have a lot of things to test but which are the you see also the hard code fixer you saw it already i've done it the other way without script so got it from Fogalong's website but here it just says hard code fixer run it and then we have this install all needed software at once which sounds like uh, an interesting thing to do we have arc in here brackets canon clip group discord canary etcher france google chrome arc theme we have the arc theme yes plank theme subuntu cleaner uku oh yeah that's a while i've seen that slack is here but not everything will be installed if you check out uh, file what was it called again install all needed install all needed so this one nice ubuntu sign it's getting grub customizer from peter levi no peter levi is a variety and uh, daniel richter and then we update everything get google chrome spotify goes in that's probably wrong <laughs> key servers tend to change and uh, sublime text goes in catfish etc etc et let's see what happens so no tweak tools here that's that's the name eric you need to remember the name has been a while since i've been on ubuntu so what if we just say install only the software what happens let's keep a close eye oh yeah it's called biomic that's true i've seen some nice graphics already of uh, artists making biomic beaver beautiful so google chrome seems to work here we get the key server <laughs> question is is it a spotify one yeah that's spotify processed mm, looking good oh updating yeah, i think it's still the same spotify key what are we actually doing Spotify sublime text the question is I'm posing myself is where the heck in this script are we RC genie that's something Jiri I mean so Jiri is uh, something that flew by evolution is something that I see as well that's here so we're probably in this line we have G parted in a few seconds. I wanted to start G party to check out what did you do with my system. So G parted can be checked out already. So what did you do? You took 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 device information. You made an MS DOS. So a bias partition extension. Oh, no swap. So the installer it says the 30 gigabyte can go to yeah to the root and that's it there is no more swap so there must be some rule saying hey 8 gigabyte is enough for memory I won't make any swap or or there is a possibility of a swap file as well to know what that looks like really actually let's see 
if is there is there a Ubuntu 18.04 swap file present? Oh yeah. Ubuntu 17.04 swaps partitions for swap files. Oh my god. So pretty sure then that they have the same idea here. even since then I even didn't know so okay everything's set up and I'm gonna scroll up for mistakes since I was preoccupied learning learning always learning and then forgetting and learning again <laughs> the fun of growing older Don't seem to be any errors here. Okay, what have we now? We have, um, let's get this like so. We have here extra stuff Blender, Cat File, Cheese, Chromium, Clementine, Compass configuration. I've even installed that one. That's strange, didn't know. So these wobbly things, not sure if it will work in here, this wobbly th stuff, wibbly wobbly, where are you wibbly wobbly, it will roll, what was it again, these images, it's actually better on Mate, it's, it's the system is more tweaked to have that working don't see it okay whatever and then what else we have two now we have two nor as well and um, nautilus focus right jiri gnu gnu image manipulator i guess gimp google chrome g part we've seen it gpic rock customizer inkscape input method that's all okay Kazam is installed. Kazam. Um, I do like simple screen recorder. It's not installed, I guess. Open shot is installed. Radio tray. Music. Screen ruler. Shutter. Setup disk. I guess this is my. Yeah, what is this? No. That's not something I installed. Don't think so. Sublime text is there. Yes. System profile is there. Bad icon. Terminal text tweaks. Bad icon. But we fix that. Remember, if we go back to the tweaks and take Sardi, you'll see. That's also always the um, best thing for me to test out. And if you have input, on your distribution and say hey, Eric you need to make icons for this and that please let me just know it's on the github you can contact me there um, so I check it with this one Sardi flexible most often because then everything is blue as you see everything should be blue so this one is not up to specs this one that one that one and let me now show you that the same application we had uh, we run earlier on this hard disk fixer hard code fixer sorry it's in here as well so right mouse click and since we've installed a lot of stuff no it's not install it's just hard code fixer and there we go curl was installed because i did it already and it fixes everything so the hard info is now fixed and Python is fixed 
meaning one of the icons is fixed and that's this one this one is fixed and the other ones remain to be done so uh, three icons to make for bionic beaver now why is this not changing because it's open eric is that the reason closing everything up and google chrome is not changing have they changed the name as well uh, okay let it go here user share applications I have now sublime text it shows properly here so think 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 okay it just had some time to adjust it's also weekend for him so google chrome ah oh, it's chromium eric it's chromium chromium is the one that needs to uh, add to favorites escape this one chromium web browser is the one that gives us an issue where are you chromium web browser going to do this again um, what the hell and it is installed okay I'm not gonna waste uh, all the time on, on, the, on this thing here must be here somewhere so I'll figure it out later yeah so three icons and go on chromium we need to look into into those two things spotify is it working that's something i always like when i play music hey spotify is not installed i thought as much sudo apt install spotify yes and eric unable to locate Spotify so what do you do Spotify Linux Spotify for Linux snap snap install I well, we could use a snap but we need this this is what I control C and then we go to the files which are here here we need to update Spotify. So this one is the correct one. We could put it here and see. Yep, I see already that the key is different. So this key ends in 886 and this is another key. So we need to delete the old one and save. And where are we? We need to install. install Spotify please receiving keys apt key GPG home okay we actually are using port 80 which is a very smart and there we go Spotify client is being installed right now anything else that could have gone wrong let me think oh the arc we need to see the arc themes so Spotify Ta -da. and do you load so okay there he is the tweak let's put the tweak in the favorites I need it all the time escape 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 tweaks where is my uh oh 
Breeze Snow is installed. That's good. But ambiance. Yeah, I like ambiance, but um, I like arc theme even more. So what happens with arc theme? Uh, well, we shall see. Let's do that again. Install A. Okay, I can install Flatablus. See what happens. Whoa, that was not installed for some reason. If you see what it all needs to have a theme, it's incredible, right? Is it a make build or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, a make, so we're making from the source code Arc for Tablets. It's okay. And the other one's called GTK. Now, GTK Arc theme. And we have errors in here. That's why it's not installed. Install GTK Arc theme is also built. Let's see if that has errors in there. GTK Arc theme uh, V1. That's the original one. I don't want the red one. Let's try the last Arc theme. Uh huh. That looks normal. Do we have an art theme? Do we have an art theme? Yeah. This is my look, you know, guys. I like art dark. Breeze snow, sunny flexible is there. Tired of the wallpaper. Okay. Okay, we're on holiday now. So we can leave this one in. The arch, this one, the arc for tablets. Delete. That will not work. Uh, the vintage is also a goner. There is also icon Saturday extra. We can install those as well. Icon Saturday extra. Those will be installed. That one was successful. Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Wait. Come again, Eric. Let's, uh, can't we go back? Right, home. Control H. Dot icons. No, we don't need to go back. So all the things are installed in the dot icons folder. So not in the user share icons, but in here. So that means, because I don't really like this icon theme, see what we have. See what we have. What I like, what I would like is Sardi Mono, right? Sardi Mono, Numix, we can take Numix, Papyrus, Papyrus is nice. This one is sometimes, that's, that's a nice one. If we have another wallpaper, it would be great to have a better contrast, but hey. Um, what's this one? Can't we set the wallpaper like this? Yeah, change background. Eh? Let's see. Hmm. Also yellow. Let's see what it gives. It's everything yellow. Control Alt Arrow. That doesn't do a thing. It goes to the next desktop or something. I was thinking of switching. That is switching. That's uh, super arrows up, left, right left and left again how do they make a quarter i like so so with arrows you can switch around so let's um stop filling so we have our icons fine we were working in our documents 1804 and looking around so Atom. I didn't see Atom. Is Atom installed? Atom is not installed. What happened with Atom? Maybe it's not in the script. That's possible too. Anyway, I find it an interesting editor. So I want to install it and 
and this well it looks okay right it's gonna be installed boot repair is that installed boot repair is a great tip if you have a um, dual boot system for instance or triple or, or quadruple or how to say that in english four boot partitions or four linux partitions then this one did save my neck a few times already that is uh, a way to boot your to to repair a grub or your ufi and all that that's what it does and i supported him with financial money because of it so it works install brackets is that working and that seems to work as well and then i have a canon that's all my computer script my uh, hp oh, what am i saying my canon drivers hey we have errors error processing brackets install it's on every system this brackets gives us problems wherever we go okay brackets is gone i'll use adam instead what else etcher is interesting etcher is a burner from usbs it's not installed yet So we use um, Mintstick on uh, Arco Linux, but Mintstick, I don't know if that's available at all. I suppose not. Anything Linux Mint is not here. Oh, Etcher seems to be ready. Huh? Why is it saying Etcher zip? inflating it's an app image okay fine and what if I type etcher nothing happens would you like to integrate opt etcher Linux app with your system would be a great idea if you did that automatically yes Okay, fail to load Mozilla. Huh? So, whoa, that's a lot of messages. Okay, you say them. Let's quit and let's find it again because it's now aha, part of our system. And now maybe we won't see all these messages. So this is, <coughs> this is an, uh, if it works at all, then this is a great uh, system. You select your ISO, this is your USB and then you flash made some tutorials about it on arcolinux.info how to burn an uh, ISO for Arcolinux on Etcher on Mac and on Windows so it can work GIMP is installed Google Chrome is installed G radio didn't see G radio nope no G radio radio yeah problems are there depends on a lot of stuff okay deleting stuff he says make no targets found specified so I guess we can forget G radio altogether unless he is figuring it out no rule to make targets okay so g radio cannot be installed the arc theme red well that's a nice idea to see if that works i hope so that's also a nice little touch to have an arc theme red it all depends if the developer updated the system and i think he did arc dark oh yeah arc red dark how about that let's choose other icons that go with something red so red 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 valencia what color is this that is similar more or less similar so we have now an arc red theme so oh the vertex theme that has been a while since i saw that Oof, gtk dark theme 
Let's see if it still works. It's a make install thing. Oh yeah, it did work. It was successful. Um, that is, what am I doing? That's this one, vertex dark. Yeah, you're gonna like it. It's um, more, it's another way, well, it's a choice. We have a choice, vertex dark. And then new fetch, oh yeah. Always showing people what to do. Oh, you can just install it. Sudo apt install new fetch. And we are on, whoa, nice logo. Let's put this more in perspective here. So this is this one, um, new fetch. source user share neo fetch arch <laughs> just me having some fun <laughs> so guys this is arch linux uh, welcome to arch linux fine you know fun and then what else did I close up my terminal? I closed up my terminal. Open terminal. So we were here. New mix. Did I see the new mix icons? Don't think so. But there were lots of icons now. Now we have a, a real bunch of icons. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of icons. All Saturday icons. As you see, it's about 120 varieties plus surfing is another 16 or so so around 130 varieties to choose from but there is no new mix so i probably need to delete this so no install me new mix just new mix just new mix What is this? What's in here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is installing what I wanted, but I am surprised to see all the PPAs coming uh, in here. Okay. So what am I doing? No mix all the way up. You not. I don't want to change you. I want to change this. New mix circle light is the most uh, one I like. Okay, peak. I don't think peak was installed. Nope. Peak is an application to make animated GIFs. So if you want to show something to somebody and there's an error while processing peak. So there you go. Not as interesting for Ubuntu. Redshift is for your eyes. If you get tired at night, it is tends to get a little bit more um, red. It depends on the package, it seems. We need to install FFmpeg. Okay, let's get that in. Setting up peak, it says now. I deleted peak. So peak might work if we install FFmpeg. Control C. Trash. Peak, peak, peak. Okay, restore from trash. Okay, FFmpeg, that's all it needs. Too quick to judge. 
to agree to the judge. So that's what I need. Control C, Control V. Well, it says here install FM and pay. Okay. I guess it was something missing in prior to prior to this. Something gone wrong here. Okay. Anyway, it's it's working. Remarkable is not interesting. Screen fetch you can install that as well. Is it already installed? Okay, it is installed. Simple screen core, that's not installed. All my videos on uh, Eric Dubois on the um, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C, I think, slash Eric Dubois, are recorded with that. So I really am glad to have that. And that's the app. It looks maybe old school but that's just because of the theme you have uh, but hey it does the job it it records everything skype alpha probably not gonna work i think because of the alpha okay they still rename still have the same name so if that's the case and unpacking looks good spotify already there Stacer. I wonder if I Stacer install Stacer. Mm -hmm. So, what's Stacer? A nice little graphic thing. Pseudo password. So he wants to know my password. Okay, save. This is a nice little graphical thing. Um, I like it because of the design as well, but of course the information is more important. Startup app services, an installer, and you just try it out. Is this the exit? That's the exit. Slack is there, a way to communicate between teams, some kind of that's not coming that's not going to uh, be successful i think oh yeah i was just waiting for the server but it's probably the wrong version 2.2.1 it would uh, seem that that's uh, that's going to be way higher at the moment so it's going to be in here let's see if there's a new update great Fine. Uh, Slack.com downloads download download 64 bits. Is this click and download? Yes, it is 3.1.1. So this thing is a download link. I need to know the download link of this thing rather than the file itself so let's guess if this is the URL and the guys haven't changed anything then select desktop Three point three MD sixty four denied downloads Linux releases three point one point ah three point one point one 
and that works. So I need to have this one, Control C, get rid of that, cancel this, update this, save, and let's run it again. There we go. We have the lot the void. Okay. Unpacking 311. Mm -hmm. There were errors it seems. But it's there anyway. Oh my god, can't we just continue? without yes we can so there you go and then we have find this workspace url you can have with my team at school i say okay let's use this url and then we start using slack and trying it out spotify stacers blind text is blind text installed yes yes it was installed sub blind text fine add to favorites escape escape SVGO, that's something specific that nobody needs. System, DAC, don't even know what that was. Something with system, with backup or something. I don't know. Now I'm curious. Unable to locate. Fine, Curios curiosity is over. Install Team Viewer. Team Viewer is interesting. Might be that's an old one. I don't think so. Uh, might be. Let's see to the URL. It has problems. It's always the same thing with Team Viewer. This i three eight six Deviant stuff. Um, That we already installed stuff in here to be able to run it but hey okay this is a whatever for me and it's not an ubuntu open in terminal well we have team viewer on arc linux as long as that works i'm happy telegram i think we skip telegram Install Telegram. I think we're better do it sudo apt. Yeah, that's probably going to fix broken and it doesn't autocomplete did I do a typo it's probably gonna fix our team viewer I was thinking but team viewer is already in the trash I'm a fast guy we'll see later if something can go come out again out of my trash uh, anyway restore and then I can retry to do team viewer let's see if this i386 stuff there that we needed now we have team viewer that's a bit strange how these things work but it works Set license agreement close works. So I need to add something to the script. Team viewer. So when everything installs, we get an error. Then I need to tell him to sudo apt fix things. Control Shift C. I wonder if putting it here or there 
it helps things along like so. The only thing, let's do a clean installation again because everything is now installed so running this again is not gonna help. My guess is that it's not gonna help at all. But that's for a clean install for later. Tomahawk is not interesting or cool. I'm not gonna do that. Variety, hey, what is variety? A variety. It's there, it's not launched yet. I could have had beautiful wallpapers and I didn't do it. So, um, wallpaper selector. We could go for this one or a red one. Or, 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 a lot of things. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Close and wait for it to download. What's this? An error occurred. Please run package manager. Blah, blah, blah. Show updates. What is this thing here? Computer needs to restart. Uh, no. No. Restart later. Uh, come on. There it is. So, install VirtualBox. Can we install VirtualBox on VirtualBox? Oh yeah, blank themes. I wonder if we have blank already. Uh, we installed blank. Now you need to have everything free for it to pop up. So let's put this guy to the right. Okay, looks strange here. As long as it installs, I'm happy. Hmm. Virtual box on virtual box. And then the plank themes have installed. Did they install the plank themes? No, no plank themes. Install link themes. Can't see what I'm typing. Get away. Oh my god, it's called link themes. So that's done. Blank, blank, blank themes. Oh and there they are. These Plank themes um, have been imported into Arch Labs, Arch Merch, Arch Linux. So these guys, I found them all on the net from different people. I made uh, a few of them myself. Here's one called Arch Labs even. So I'm gonna use this one. Ha. So what else? Visual Studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know why it didn't work. I remember. Vivaldi is not there yet. That's a great browser, guys. If you never use Vivaldi, take a look. Don't believe me. But it should work, of course. And there are lots of messages popping up up here. What was this? Depends. Conflicts. We need to install stuff. You might run apt fix things. I need to run it again, they say. Let's do that. Okay. <laughs> the following packages will be removed. Vivaldi stable. No. <laughs> Let me first check if it works. Vivaldi. Okay, that's working. I wonder why it needs to be uninstalled again. Install the wire. Okay, by wire. 
it's a chat system and let's like let's say like Skype or stuff like that. That's also on the iPhone and Androids and stuff. I wonder if um, ZSH is working here as well. Uh, it's not installed. Please install ZSH first. Sudo apt install ZSH. Okay. I definitely need to run this thing there. That thing. Bye, Vivaldi. Gone. Doing it again. Do it again. Okay. Everything okay. Pseudo apt. Was it update or upgrade? I think I changed something. Update was asking information. And upgrade is actually installing, I believe it was. Okay, so it's okay. So the ZSH thing, that was the thing we were looking for. And ZSH is installed. He's cloning. All right. Zudo, change my shell, please. For Eric. Eric minus s slash bin ZSH. That's it. Then, um, how to switch again? Was it source? And then type ZSHRC. I guess not. How was it again to switch? I think I really need to log off. I really don't recall anymore. Oh, not that one. But I'm gonna log off, log out. And I've seen the first screen as well. well. Okay, nice. So we have now Control or T. That's working. And this is ZSH, and the next one is ZSH, and the next one is ZSH, and they all look different. And that's what I like about the ZSH. I make the themes random, so next time I'll always have a different look in my terminal. But it's uh, well, it's like Bash, but it it's, can do even more than Bash. Uh, you be the judge of that if you just use um, it for design or if you use it for more than that. Documents, Ubuntu. I want this there. So this Vivaldi thing really bugs me. You install it, and then you say uninstall it. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> install Vivaldi. It's funny, really. Cannot remove, no such file or directory. Yeah, that's because I made, at that point in time, scripts that were rubbish. Okay, fine, whatever. That's, it's, it tries to remove something that's not there. So that was my way to clean everything up. But there were errors were encountered while processing stuff. So we probably need to check that out as well. Downloads. Oh yeah. It has a number behind it. And numbers change. Let's see if we can navigate to this as well. Access forbidden. Arr. Downloads. Sorry. Okay, download. All right. Phew. We need this one. All right. So we copy the link location and then we say get it from here. Control V, save. And then this is the new name. So if we need to be correct, we need to change this here and that here. All right. And this here. When writing scripts now, I would have made a variable up there and everything would be just one thing. But hey. You have to learn 
in scripts don't be hard with yourself start learning scripts and improve over the years that looks good if i also put this one control v right save so one one four seven 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 all right arrow up let's see there were already errors on the top there's something here about depends or is that no error no i think it's okay Vivaldi. There you have Vivaldi and ArcLinux.info. And here you have ArcLinux. So that's working and it's a fast browser. I really like it. And um, there's also Vivaldi Snapshot, which we can't download probably, but it's in the AUR from Arch Linux and you have this snapshot and when you use that one you can synchronize your bookmarks and your settings to the cloud and it's not mentioned in here so um, don't know how to get to the snapshot so thank you AUR then what else do we need to check out we didn't do the Ubuntu cleaner Ubuntu cleaner. We need to get rid of some of the the wrong um, uh, repositories. That's the name. So what I'm looking for? Ubuntu something? Ubuntu cleaner. Firefox cache. Clean up my Firefox cache. Huh, already that much clean. Okay. Add cache. All right. So all the files you download are put in the cache. It's the same in uh, uh, Arch Linux. It's in var cache, I think, something like that. So it, it's in here as well. And you can say, okay, I don't need it anymore. Or just keep it. If you have space enough, just keep it. Going my way back up. I haven't done Grub Customizer. If you want to have your Grub look differently, and I, I, I'm definitely against it. Why? Because it's it complicates things. That's one. When making ISOs, and two, the design is never that awesome. And I, 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 if, if I do something, it has to be awesome. Otherwise, don't do it at all. So, Grub. So, Grub Customizer. Quick glance. So, it knows what system I'm booting from. It says here two lines. That's when you boot, you see three lines. One, two, three. Memory test and all that. And here you can say, start up with the first entry. And if you have an... Uh, Windows 10 or something, you can say, hey, boot up with Windows 10, not Ubuntu. And that fixes things. That's interesting fact for me. And um, you can have a different look, uh, not background and colors, but never made made it uh, made a beautiful theme that I said, wow, it's beautiful. And even if you can install it from AUR, then I, even then I say, not that interesting. But if you want to make it, it's up to you. It's there. Use Grub Customizer. Have fun with it. Kit Kraken has not been installed. Kit Kraken. I've I've used it once or twice. It's not really my thing. It's a GUI application to um, to control to manage your GitHub's. And I first came across it on Solus. They've uh, installed it. They have, they have a link you to install it it's not standard installed but um, yeah 
that's a nice anyway <laughs> i was forgotten about I, I did forget about this nice little thing and you get this nice looking atom kind of look uh, all black and gray and it's kind of complicated so you need to spend some time into it but it's a, a great tool anyway you check it out if you are a github user uh, gimp is there france is not there france is an application for social media um, management let's call it like that super oh it's already installed no really no france oh my god boom installed so you add your stuff to it whatsapp telegram skype etc etc it's one of the tools i teach my students um, specifically students for cross media that's of course very interesting for them so i have the one application on mac on windows and on linux but my students are rarely on linux and uh, well it works it has the social media stuff in it we have discord that's our way to communicate and uh, our colinux with our users with our team and it's working great actually it's a beautiful theming it's it really fits into Arco Linux and we have errors so what was this code when you have errors uh, it's gone and let's see if it installs anyway discord canary okay well the, these messages are great these texts are always surprise you let's say what rubbish are they saying again now they're building pylons <laughs> it's always something new <laughs> so okay you need some updates fine etcher we've done that the deconf editor we didn't do the deconf editor control c getting dunked jeez okay oh it's crashed so that's the message when things crash okay so we need to fix or delete it the deconf editor will be no problem that's normally okay <laughs> okay that's the command again sudo apt dash dash fix broken install all the libc double c plus plus is what's needed and then probably this will go through through come on canary fly i'm benching the kench i don't know what this means but it's fun okay that was it so that's working due to libc something that needed to be installed so it needed these two packages ctrl shift c discord once more okay you get more sudo apt apt install minus yes save maybe this will fix it next time around and then um, the deconf editor what was that you see you spent a lot of time eh, working and figuring out how everything works and then all these errors I have to fix I have dependency this dependency that deconf editor I'll be careful never so that's now installed clip grab is not really something worth installing good repair did we install that i don't think so uh, the o behind it doesn't matter it seems no didn't install it so the boot repair i told you about that earl in the earlier on so it's probably a good thing if we have it when you are on dual boot with windows boot repair scanning everything please wait a few seconds so 
I don't know what I did again years ago, um, but you can do lots of stuff. Reinstall grub, restore MVR, grub location, and put this there, grub options, MBR options, other options. That's the advanced thing, but you can just say recommend repair or make an inquiry, an info file to send to the forum to get help. So he's in reinstalling, creating a boot info, upload report to pastebin. Well, why not? Yes. And then you can show the link later on to people or to the forum. Say, hey, that crashed my system. And here's the info, the pastebin. What else? Atom was installed, installed only the software goes wrong. We know that by now. That's my printer in there. This is the URL. Control C, browser is open. Control A, Control V. So, what does it do? Grub 2, version 2, is installed in MBR. Divis div div device says the A, it looks at sector 1. Mm -hmm. Extension 4. Boot files, etcf step, partition information. Okay, and that's the script. I'll see if I can boot up later. Uh, arc theming is empty. There are themes, well, you can make an arc theme based on this one how to make a personal arc theme on solace how to make a personal arc theme on linux mint 45 r color themes of different colors for linux mint hibiscus arc decal arch linux budgie arc theme where to download stuff I guess any of them is good so everything is good the only thing you need to know is you need to go here this is the arc theme colora so this is arc dark red that's another one but i have this script here that makes the arc theme the blue one and change to any color you want any color you want so that's an, a neat little project for you to do you just git clone this thing here, it takes a while, so I'm not going to include it in the video. But all you need to do is um, get to your home or documents maybe. Open in a terminal, git clone, control shift uh, V. You get this code down. It's not down yet, okay. So we have an installation version 1, 2 and so on. So, yes, open in the terminal, and then you start with installation number one, and you run it. It knows that I'm on Ubuntu, and it will install the stuff that Ubuntu needs. That's done. Almost. Then change the color variable new color one in the next script. So, installation two. Ooh, that's ugly. Right mouse click, open with other application, view all applications. Sublime text, there he is. Um, select, blah, 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 cancel. And we need to change the color. So this new color needs to be changed. The color I have now is this color, Control C. I suppose I don't have GPIC in here. Yay, I have GPIC. So, um, let's go for a color. I, I never use color green, so why not ch choose the color green and see if I take something like that. All right, so right mouse click. Add to the palette. This color. 
this arc theme has never been created with this color but now it will be control v and then control save no hashtag in front of the color that's done and now you start running things installation oh where am i i am the wrong mirror wrong um, thermal here so am i right yes i am right now installation one has been done two and let's go so everything that um everything we downloaded from the github from horst 3180 the original files from him all the colors blue have now been changed to green so that's easily checked somewhere it's green now and the same applies maybe the better image is actually this one to show nope is actually that one to show yeah that's good so opening this one shows that all the icons that he uses have now been changed from blue to green so that's reassuring so ls we do or we do uh, arrow up so we know the last one was two and then you just keep on going really it's uh, self-explanatory um okay that was just deleting deleting is fast of course and then this is why i'm not going to wait it wants to and run something gd carl and bear thing but um really doesn't matter really i think no it doesn't matter so it's just a file can bear gdk module that's not installed is making the icons anyway so control t probably we can do something about it sudo app install and then can bear does can bear exist nope then how about gtk gtk can bear things stuff like that nope and then it might be a library whoa either um well yeah wasn't there a way to figure out what packages are and there are on ubuntu aptitude was an application a very old one don't know if that still exists oh it does exist okay ah, it's an underscore so i guess that's no longer there and the software can this guy help us not either yeah, every system has his uh, things to do so I'm not gonna wait for it, but uh, you know what to do. Control C, and you run number five, number six, number and seven. I don't know how many are there till number eight, and then you'll have a green-looking GTK theme, and that might be your thing. You can choose any of the 16 million colors. All right. I think my time is up. This has been almost a vlog of 1 hour 43 minutes. This is going to be too long. 850 megabytes. This is going to be awesome. This is not a tutorial anymore. This is a vlogging what I'm doing. So, well, I do think there are some things that are interesting in there. But um, basically, uh, I feel that I don't know Ubuntu anymore. <laughs> I'm uh, all arch and arco linux tweaked in my head in my brain but um i'm gonna make three more icons for the saturday in a servant icon that's on my agenda so that's uh, looking good all right cheers